I'm Michelle and I'm from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, I go to the school Collège Sturgeon Heights Collegiate and we're here in Cuba on a band and choir trip. The highlights from this trip I think have been, well there's a ton of them, but one is the dancing. I love the dancing here, it's so relaxed, it's so fun and it's, it's just like so much different than from back home because usually I'm used to ballet where it's very structured and this is just like you get to move your hips and it's so fun and it, in addition to that the buildings are so beautiful and it, it's so old, it has so much history and stories so to see all that is really quite amazing and experience it. Well I think that this trip has helped me to be a, a better musician because now I know a lot more about Cuban music. I had no idea what made Cuban music Cuban. Now we know like some rhythms and we can use different instruments that I didn't even know existed. But I mean I'm, I'm not a band student. Cuba is just a, it's quite an amazing country. It's nothing like I've ever seen before. Whereas because you go to, I don't know, the States, it's all the same as, as here, but in Cuba it's all different and it's new and it's exciting. Like, there's so much color. There's, it's so vibrant and the people are so engaging. They, they're always, they always have, they're always smiling, they're always saying hello, and I mean, you, you get to experience a new culture, which is, it's quite eye-opening. It's great to have more than just one uh, set knowledge point. And it's just a great place with great people. There's a lot more dancing here and it's great, so come to Cuba. <laughs>
it's also going to help my music career by appreciating what I have and appreciating some of the instruments and opportunities that I have. Uh, the people here are the nicest people I've ever seen. Um, everybody here is just so happy and it, it's, it's a real contrast from you know, back home where you see a lot of people, they're upset and everything, but they don't really have a lot to be upset about. And here is like, you know, you see some of the living conditions and you think is like, you know, these people are like overjoyed and it's, 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 it's just, it's an eye-opening thing to see. And I, I, I do recommend for you to come to, come to Cuba. All right, I'm Megan Tyndale and I'm, I'm from Canada, Winnipeg, and I go to Sturgeon Heights Collegiate. I'm 17 years old and I'm here in Cuba on a music trip. Um, well, Cuba for me has been an amazing trip and um, I'm really sad that it's coming to an end. Some of my favorite parts mostly have been like all the music that's been here and just constantly being around that environment. Music is like my favorite thing in the whole world, so being here is really been so enlightening to see the different cultures and the different types of music. Um, I've also loved being around people. I'm a super social person so being in this environment for me I've just thrived here and I really loved it. Well when I get back home to Canada I think one of the first things I will say is just it's been an overall amazing time. Each day was so full of doing different activities and just there's always something to do. Um, some of my favorite parts, like we went to a waterfall, we've been to see people who don't have as much as us, which is really eye-opening. So I would definitely say, come on this trip, go to Cuba. <laughs>